This is the Motor Cop Chronicles podcast with the Midweek News. Join your host, Iceman and Holstera, two law enforcement professionals ready to offer their unfiltered opinions on the latest news from the world of law enforcement. No filters, no edits. So be warned, the content may be upsetting to some listeners. Sit down and hold up. This may get a little bumpy. Welcome, Motor Cop Chronicles Podcast Midweek News. I'm Ice Man. We've got Holstera over here. Need to unmute his mic again. Uh, there you go. There it is. <laughs> Good afternoon, everybody. We were having issues with that a while ago. Uh, somebody forgot how to unmute their mic. Yeah, my daughter showed me. She's like, you hit this button, and all the magic happened. It started to work. Free bird is at a, a fuzzy hat fuzzy meeting. Fuzzy hat meeting. So uh, he will not be gracing us with his presence today. He's making noise already. I now hope everybody. A bunch of campaign buttons in my pocket, and they're rattling, so I had to take them out. I hope everybody's been having a, a good week. Uh, thank God it's getting closer. I don't know how y'all weather is. Uh, we've been in triple digits, right. triple digits all week, and it 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 fucking sucks. I'm just gonna tell you. Well, our thing the other day was broken. It was like it's very hot outside, and it said it was like 82, and I'm like that is not hot. Yesterday, it's not very hot. Yesterday, well, the patron, the the crew members got to see it. Uh, I put up pictures and stuff from a crash I was at involving the backhoe. Uh, it was like nine o'clock in the morning. It was what, like what make what makes you call her a backhoe? Well, because she's a backhoe. Uh, she's trash though. <laughs> she's not working anymore. <laughs> and uh, it was like nine o'clock in the morning, and I'm out there, and I'm like had sweat running down my back to my ass crack and i happened to look at the temperature the temperature was only 88 degrees but the humidity was 77 percent so it, the feel like temperature yeah. was a 103 well, at nine like, o'clock yeah, in the morning usually i'm a night shower but i took a morning shower the other day and i dried off and as soon as i got dressed and walked out front i got hit with it like i was covered in water i just couldn't believe it i was drenched from my head to my feet and sweat hey everybody we get the housekeeping stuff out the way because we got stuff to talk about, at least not on the time frame. If you want a good cigar, go to uh, mypatriotcigar.com and uh, use MotorCop15, get 15% off of your order. Good cigars. Send some to Holster. He has You can definitely send some to Holster. Uh, he smoked all mine. If you want any merch, as you can see, I do have my. Sl- That's my favorite shirt. Says, uh. My sliding Biden shirt on right here. And, uh, Just a second, sliding the Biden. Uh, that's at the Etsy store. Here you can go to website, motorcupchronicles.com, and the links are on there also. You can go there, get that. I got a uh, Fuck Your Feeling shirts. All that stuff like that on there. If y'all want any merch, uh, it's, I think I got this one at like 20 bucks. I uh, think we need one. It's an FAFFO <clears throat> shirt. I do have one. It says, uh, it's just the initials of fuck your feelings, and it says society underneath it. Uh, I think this was 20 bucks uh, without shipping and handling. So you're probably looking at about 25 bucks, depending on where you live. If you want more Motor Cop Chronicles, like the stuff I talked about a second ago, and see pictures and stuff, you can go join the Patreon. Uh, three different tiers, $10 gets you everything. And, uh, and you get a coffee cup. And you get a coffee mug. And if you can't afford it, don't understand. Don't worry about it. Uh, I'm still going to put out the free Bind stuff. Hard. Yes, they are. Uh, Biden's killing us. Uh, so, talking about our Patreons, we're going to shout them out. We got uh, our two hangarounds, Mr. William Gbo and Chad Jenkins, uh, taking care of each other. We got our newest uh, member, Jared. He... Uh, he should have just gotten his uh, mug, according to my list. Anyway, it shows it was delivered. Did you get him a pink one? No. He's got John Mink. We got Dan Cross with Barley Boards. We got uh, T-Bird. We got Mr. Jim Poe Cramp, the Short Track Guys podcast. He's also in the chat. We got Hoppy Hoppison, our truck driving friend. We got Mr. Blake Walker. 
We got A.A. Ron, who just popped in the chat also from the I Had to Say It podcast. I was to hey, a, hey, listening to it the other day, and I had to send him a text message from something he said in there. Uh, it was a funny little conversation. We got Mr. Z. Palmer. We got Roy Spaulding. That's Roy with an S. I'm just curious to see what color hair he's going to pop out with next. Uh, we got Mr. I like the guy for really look, personally. <laughs> we got JoJo, our favorite girl from down under. We got Kaylee Norris and Natasha A. from the state of Washington. And, of course, the OG crew member, Melissa Holstein. Appreciate every single one of y'all. Hope y'all keep enjoying the content that I am putting out. He's A.A. Ron says he's here. He says, but I'm working on the pool, so I won't be contributing much. Uh, That's okay. A.A. Ron, let your wife blow it up. (laughs) (laughs) Just, just, Just let her blow it up. Uh, it, it just be done. Uh, I, I'm not a swimming pool person. I've had two in ground pools in my life, and I will never have another one again. It's just, just they, they have a, it's too much I mean, work. Got, it's just too much work. You got the same thing. You have, I mean, your little cement pond back there. There's no cement. Hey, Aaron said he wish it was that simple. What the? F- Sorry, I'm watching my guy. On a camera, he's weed eating this guy. Uh, I don't, I don't know what he's doing. Putting a fence up around the top of the frame. Why? So little ones don't drown. Well, if they're little enough, they won't be able to reach and fall in there if it's above ground pool. If you got a deck, you ain't never do down here. We got some fancy decks. We the decks around here cost more than the above ground pool. Gotcha. Got a pool right outside the clubhouse right here. It's pink. I got it at the Dollar General store. I think five ninety nine. I think Stu takes his uh, little bass in it. <laughs> <laughs> I told Mel to get one of them for the chickens because how hot it's been getting. I want to hear about you. Look, I got a picture uh, sent to me people the other day by old uh, Melissa Holstein, the OG crew member, and she was in the car and she had a chicken riding in the car with her. It's a rooster. A rooster riding in the car. You need to leave your cock at home. No, you just can't be. You just we, can't be riding around with your cock hanging out in your car, sitting on your shoulder. It just. So, it was too. It was a big red cock then on, on it, sitting on it. it. It is. It's a Rhode Island red, but uh, we didn't have a uh, rooster, and uh, this guy wanted to trade, so we went over there and traded him out. And it's hilarious because Mel gets there and. He's like, what are you going to put him in? She goes, the car. And he's like, no, really? And he just chilled on the center console the entire ride home. Shit on people. Went, just... Whatever. It, my <laughs> wife loves animals. And I do have to say, I'm in that boat. I mean, who doesn't love animals? So you have to share your bed with extra cock now or is it outside? No, the chickens sleep outside. <laughs> That's where I draw the line. They do. <laughs> Stink. She says. Yeah, she said that the rooster's name's Marco McNugget. Jesus it Christ. is Marco McNugget. Yep. Just something wrong there. Well, let's uh kick these stories off. This first one. This first one you got pisses me off beyond worldly belief. Well, this first one here, uh, basically starting January twenty fourth, uh. In the state of Illinois, oh, A.A. Ron's area, uh, if you, they will hire non-citizens to be able to work in law enforcement. But they did that out in Cali, too. They're doing they? it in California. But my thing is, is, all right, I, I put this, I don't know why I did it, but I, I put this up on Reddit yesterday in a, in a police uh, subreddit. And uh, let me tell you. I triggered some fucking snowflakes like y'all would not believe. You hear me? And all I did is I put a copy of the story up. I put down the headline of it, and I said, this is wrong. The, the motherfucking snowflakes went crazy. And some of them claim to be in law enforcement. If they are in law enforcement, I'm glad I don't work for them because I don't want to work with a, a woke-ass fucking cop, okay? But you literally break the law to enter the country. 
No, no, hold on. These people actually, they have to, be, they have to be in the country legally. Have have a green card or a work visa. My thing is, is you are not. If an immigrant wants to move here legally and become a citizen, it's and a then become a law enforcement person, I have zero problems with that. You, you have become a citizen. This thing is, is you're not a citizen, and you should not have the power to arrest a citizen when you're not a citizen. And plus, it, non-citizens, it's it, you're not allowed to have a gun as a non-citizen in the United States. So it says in there that 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 after if you're a non-citizen and they're a cop in either California or well in, in Illinois anyway. After you get off of duty that day, you have to turn your gun in every day. You're not allowed no. to take your gun with you. No, yeah. not happening. I'm just telling Sorry you. Pass. That's how it says. But this is the stupidest it, shit. Like I said, I don't believe that a non-citizen should do it. But according to these Reddit people, me, I am now a raging fucking racist, Okay. Because you didn't want. Because I said, no, hold on. Because I said, I didn't want non citizens, immigrants, non citizens is exactly how I put it. I do not want non citizens with arrest powers and stuff like that. So that makes me a racist. So I well, told them. You called it out for what it was. I told, well, no, I told them back. I said, well, hold on a minute. Hold on. I said, first of all, we got to go straight to, to color here, right? When I mentioned, I'm right. not, I said, because according to my knowledge, uh, their America, the United States of America, is not the only place where they have white people. Okay, right. I believe they have white people in Africa. They have white people in Russia. There's white people all over the fucking world. Okay, so uh, I said, so y'all thinking that all immigrants are either brown or black people? Who's the fucking the racist? racist? Right there. Who's the racist? Right. Not There's me. White immigrants. You Not me. Time with Canadians and shit. I, I don't give a shit what color they are. I don't care if they want to be a cop. That's fine. Just become a legalized citizen first. I ended up. This got me. Ended up getting me kicked off of. Uh, and I know I got some Reddit. No, I got not 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 that Reddit. Another subreddit. Uh, it was a. And it, you know, I know I got some people in the UK over there. So if you get offended, you get offended. I was on one of theirs, and somebody had asked a question on there, and it says, oh, if I have an Audi, whatever, it had to be a kid, and, you know, the cops go to stop me, and I run from the cops, you know, just because I wanted the ego boost, blah, 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 and they said, and, and when, I do, when, when I do get caught, but I have all my paperwork and all this, and everything's right, what would happen to me? Going to jail. This, this is exactly word for word what I wrote, okay? I said... Arrested, car towed. That's all. That's all I said. Uh, they impounded. They kicked me off and banned me off of their UK Reddit. Said, and uh, I, I, I was like, I'm like, what the fuck? So I text. I said, what? Did, did, so did they not have pursuit policy? Hold on. I said, I, I said, what did I say to get me banned? This is what I got back. Was we saw other stuff you've put, and the only other thing I've ever done was the one I put up, which all these people are. We saw other stuff that you have said, and we don't want you on ours. And I wasn't even able to respond back to them to tell them they were a bunch of pussy, like cock sucking motherfuckers, because besides banning me, they muted me also. So, uh, if any of my UK listen people there, if y'all have any people in that friends, Bobby's or whatever on the UK Reddit thing, uh, just go tell them, tell them the ice fans that they can go suck my dick, okay? Because that's how I feel about it. Uh, you know, I mean, because I didn't even it's do nice nothing. Nice to have the old ice man. So, back. well, I'm not helping you with the other part, but this shit pisses me <laughs> off. You know, I'm, I'm, I was getting called. I'm like, I'm the racist in. Buddy, hey, and all that stuff like that. So you know what? If you don't get called a racist, then you haven't said hello to the, the people. The, the the first thing, the first thing got through my you're racist. I'm like, well, here comes the liberal tears. Here comes the liberal tear. Well, see, it's weird too because you, I've never seen a Reddit feed that was like pro liberal. 
Oh, they come Easy. out the woodwork. I'm a racist. I'm a um, I have I have a macho masculinity problem that I have to try to act like a no, tough the guy. In this nation is I have, we have a lack know, of masculinity. The, pro- the problem is is I have testosterone and I'm an alpha male. And these people that were typing to me would never say to me to my face what they were saying there because myself, whatever I was typing, isn't nothing compared to what I would say to their face because i didn't i was trying give me a hug. I, I was trying not to get kicked off of it but that's nothing compared to what i would look to them in their face and tell them they need to go home back to their mommy get a little nipple and go to bed early so your dad can come in there and finish molesting you okay because that's what Jesus. happened to you all right let's move on before <laughs> i just it pisses me off so all right next story uh, <laughs> so I thought that for sure the asshole that did it. So there was a uh, viral video. Most of the people around the United States have already seen it. It was an Ohio police officer that was holding his canine. Uh, The Ohio Highway Patrol were standing there. Um, Exactly. If you're not being called a racist, are you even really on the Internet? I have the video. I got the video. I got some video of it. Right. If you want to see. He's going to show the video. What I presumed when I heard that the officer was terminated is... Well, the dumbass released a canine on a man that was surrendering. Uh, that's a big no-no. That's kind of like shooting somebody that's surrendering. We're not allowed to do it, um, no matter but, how bad we might want to. Well, we'll see but it. But if you look into it, it turns around, and they did a full-on investigation into this officer, and basically they screwed him because, yeah, he messed up. He let the dog go. But he must have tried to CYA, which we all know in law enforcement is cover your ass. Um and basically, I think he might have wrote a police report that might have made him sound in a better light because they popped him with all kinds of department policy violations. Not the canine issue. No. That they just they, kind of brushed they, off. They said he did, not, he did not violate their use of force policy by letting the dog loose. Because even though the guy's arms were up in the air, he still wasn't complying. He was still, just because his hands was up don't mean you're not resisting. He was still resisting. Yeah, the, okay. The video looks damning. But he, he, it says he did not violate their department policy on use of force. What they got him for was saying that he <laughs> talked about it to other people and stuff like that. And, it, you know, basically he got fired because, uh, it don't look good, but this man's going to get his job back because the people that fired him don't have the power to fire him. Oh, uh, let's, let's watch oh, yeah. some video. Citizen City Council or yeah. Dozens of times a day for months. That's As not it. News reporter Rob McMillan explains, this isn't. We're not going to watch the whole thing, but this is the, this is where where they had him. And he says he drove off because he was scared because they had guns out. So let's just drive off like they're not going to chase after you. Okay. Yeah, I, I've never seen. You know what? That that should be the thing is when they drive off, we just go, damn, maybe next yeah, time. Yeah, we'll get him next time. Anyway, he drove off. They chased this dude for over 20 <laughs> miles. Okay. This other part. They that these people are talking about is like, oh well, they had a state police hollering for him not to release the dog. First of all, the state trooper was not hollering; he was just talking, saying, "Don't do it, don't do it." And the state and, trooper and, don't work for the police. And department. second of all, that guy don't work for the state police. That state trooper can tell that cop to do nothing. He don't have no authority over that cop. So I mean, oh, he disobeyed the state trooper. Screw that state trooper. He ain't got nothing to do with it. Telling that cop what to do. Do not, do not let them, re- don't Let's release the dog. Is it, are these two troopers holding their tasers? Is that the yellow I'm it, 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 I don't know, but the guy saying, don't well, release that dog. Don't, that's not telling him nothing. That guy's 30 yards away. He can't hear shit. Yeah, he ain't going to hit him with that taser. Release the dog with his hands up. Do not release the dog with his hands up. Do not release the dog with his hands up. Do do not. Do not. Do not. Get the dog off of him. Get the dog off of him. Get the dog. 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 Get the d
Now, you realize it would have just taken the canine officer at this point to take him into custody. Well, you know how all of this could have been not happened? He could have pulled over. If he had just pulled over and got his fucking ticket. Yeah. But no, it's the cop's fault. So yeah, let's let's run from the cop and then cry victim so, at the end of the day. Dude. So so anyway, but the guy look bad, yes, but like I said, he didn't is. violate department policy. That state trooper was not hollering. Hey, no, he did after. You know what? That state trooper has it, the, they have different policies, obviously. Right. Only thing, only reason this guy got and like I said, the 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 people that fired him, the cop, don't have the authority to do it. He's going to get his job back. I'm telling you, I don't know if he'd want to go back to work for this department, but this, the Maybe state, this state trooper speak. right there. I mean, if he wouldn't have been, if he would have just kept his mouth shut when it said none, this whole thing wouldn't even been blown out in the proportion. But because he's like, don't do this, don't do that. I, I've worked with people that think they know everything about everything. <laughs> and uh, usually I don't know anything about shit. So but anyway, this guy's going to get his job back. However, you know, people feel about it. Uh, do I would have I released the dog? Probably not. I'm just saying it, but he didn't violate policy. They fired him for optics. Moment, can we take a moment to appreciate the restraint by both departments? Because we know that that one particular trooper that was yelling those things, he could have gotten to a level of aggression where he would have tried to put that dog down um, to get him off of the suspect. And I'm glad they didn't go that route. Because it would have been a lot bigger issue. Yeah, they would have charged that trooper with uh, with yep. murder in. So. But uh, what you got next? So. Something crazy. You know, that's the Brooksville Courthouse. Oh, I'm that's a whole screen. county away. No, it ain't what it showed up when I Googled it. Oh, all right. This next one, we're going to California over here. Jesus. Must have a dog drinking or something. Yep. That's my German Shepherd. Hopefully she doesn't try to get over here and wipe her mouth on me. That would be bad. Um, but yeah, you're doing the California. Yeah, the Cal- Department. This, this California Department uh, and uh, Val Joe. I don't know how you say it. I ain't never heard of it before. V A L L E J O, California. Anyway, residents there may soon get a chance to weigh in on a proposed plan to have the police change their response to uh, alarms, like burglar alarms and stuff, and potentially stop responding to these calls altogether. Then why don't they just So what, what, what's the department? point of having an alarm on your house if the cops aren't going to come? Uh, right. The police department there will be hosting the first of at least two town hall meetings on the topic starting August the 8th. The interim police chief, Jason Ta, uh, said earlier this week that given the shrinking police force, it's getting harder and harder for his agency to justify responding to alarm calls. Uh, What? Yeah. He said that uh, of the 3,627 of these calls that the police responded to in 2022, 98 turned out to be false alarms. Let me tell you what, Mr. Interim Police Chief. 98% 98% of everywhere of alarm calls that we go to are false alarms. Yes. But the problem is, dog. but the problem is, so what about that 2%? Yep. What about so the that 2%? They're raping the house, they're raping, they're killing, they're stealing yeah. everything. He said, there was no crime, Toss said. There was no burglary. There was no vandalism. There was nothing to warrant any kind of police action. 98% were fault. Okay. Yeah, you well, right. Until we can get predator drones over entire cities where we can like zoom in on the house and make sure nothing's going on, we're still responding. We, we have a duty to act. When did, exactly. when did we in law enforcement stop Just having a duty to pick act? Pick and choose, yeah. Uh, right. I he mean, said in officers. They've already decriminalized <laughs> everything. drugs. They decriminalized theft up to, I believe, grand theft, right? Yeah. Um, they, they've it, now you can break into a business and rob them blind when they're out, and the, the cops just ain't going to come. This, you, this is an atrocity. <laughs> it's, it's, but Joe, he said officers spend about 23 minutes responding to each call. So the police chief said false alarms take up about 115 hours of his department's time. 
I don't know why. Uh -uh. So you know what you do. I don't know if your department has it, but I know that so certain local departments here where I'm at have it. If you have what we call a nuisance property where the alarm goes off like 10 times start, a day. You send them a bill. Start stroking your tickets. Or, yeah. or, or yeah. you know, you want to solve the problem. It, all right, you get, let's say, every person that has an alarm, you get two false alarms a year. After yep. that, you're going to get charged this amount from three to five and five to ten, it go and it keeps going up. So if you, every time you go out and it's uh, you start charging them more money, they will get the and problem we'll, fixed. They will absolutely. get the problem They'll fixed. Call a security team out there to get that alarm fixed pronto. It says that's the whole goal behind it, and I love it. It says with just nine supervisors and thirty four officers available for patrol, uh, police have been uh, researching. Uh, I'm talking about eliminating or changing our response to alarm calls. Uh, <laughs> It's – hold it's on. They, they had a part in here that I want to I read. And, uh, it says altering the alarm call response is just one of several ways they're re reducing their role as officers continue to leave the force. You know why they're leaving? Because your department sucks, obviously. Bad leadership. Right. Ta. Bad freaking leadership. Yeah, I mean, if I got a job at a sheriff's department or a PD and they're like, okay, you can't arrest anybody for drugs. Yeah. Anybody for stealing, anybody for anything, and now we don't even respond to well, calls. I'd be like, at this point, do I even have to come in, or can I just call today? It says, with an average response time of an hour and a half, the police department has already disbanded its traffic division, begin, the, the, is pulling one detective per week to work a patrol shift. Wow. According, the agency has lost five officers since March. That was their traffic division. Or they disbanded the motor cops. They're like, screw y'all! Ain't going back on patrol. They're gonna go yeah, somewhere where they can get back on a bike. And uh, the first mistake any department makes is axing traffic di divisions. Traffic divisions not only pay for themselves, but they help the greater community. And I, I hate it when these politicians say, "Yep." Traffic unit, donate them. Here we, we go. Traffic laws enforced. The city council now unanimously voted Tuesday to give Ta and the city manager the power to power. make unilateral decisions regarding the city's public safety. This means these two people will not have Thank to confer you. with the entire council or the police officer association before making decisions about the city's law enforcement. That's bad. I mean, so you now you have two people that, yeah, just, well, now, just shut your police department down. So, does that open them up to civil liability, I wonder? I have no idea. It's California, because, you know. You know, because once again, going back to the duty to act, if if there's no security and all of a sudden your house gets robbed, you get vandalized, you get injured, um, I think if that chief decided to go ahead and cancel that call for service, then that chief should be civilly liable for every dollar. That it, it, that it, it's just plum ridiculous. Old. So somebody's breaking up. Well, if a panic alarm goes off because somebody broke into your house and they're trying to rape you, well, <laughs> at least they knew about it, but they're not going to come to it. The cops ain't going to come. Do you know what the the property crime's going to do when that when that happens? I'm just going to go okay. up to. I mean, why not? I'll just go to the damn bank and hold the bank up. They're not responding to alarms. But at the same time. The crime stats will eventually go down. <laughs> Not Think there. It. It, no, when they stop. Well, yeah. Them. Well, yeah, because you won't have any reports of the crime. There you go. So the crime must be zero out in California because they have zero property crime. Zero, but yet it's just the fact that the cops ain't going out to the calls, which is utter bullshit. Yep. Talking right, about uh, through law enforcement. We're gonna be talking about this fella right here. Right here. Kentucky constable arrested after joining state police pursuit without authority. <laughs> you need what? Wait until you hear what he was driving. The constable was driving in a reckless manner at a high rate of speed, nearly striking the cruiser of several law enforcement agencies, according to state police. Uh, in Glass, Glasgow, Kentucky. Uh, a Barron County constable is facing multiple charges after Kentucky State Police said he joined in a police pursuit that he did not have authority to be in. Law enforcement officers began pursuing a stolen vehicle in Barron County 
Tuesday. And as the pursuit entered Hardin County, they discovered that Barron County Constable Joseph Ramey was also part of the chase. State police said in the news release, Ramey was driving in a reckless manner at a high rate of speed, nearly striking cruisers. Yeah, we covered that. Uh, Ramey, he's 29, overambitious fucker, uh, took office in January and does not have any law enforcement certification. Okay, so that's the constable up there in Kentucky. It's very confusing because different states have different types of laws for the constables. Our constables so are not – our constables don't have arrest powers. They basically will go out what and evict – papers? They go out and ev- ev- evict people out their apartments and shit. That's all they can yeah, do. Right. And if, if they give them any yeah. shit, they call us. Right. Uh, <laughs> yeah. He was driving a Honda Odyssey with green and amber <laughs> lights in it. The van had a star in the, in the words, Kentucky Constable. On the side, the state police said, and Trooper Scott Sharp said, the person police were pursuing was later arrested without incident in another county when the police pursuit ended. Uh, state police said a warrant for Ramsey's arrest was issued. Da, 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 they're doing an investigation. <laughs> Fucking Honda Odyssey. You're in a Honda Odyssey <laughs> with, like, little security lights. Like, a star on the door <laughs> and, like, a blinky light. And you're just you're thinking out the window going, wee, 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 wee. I mean, he had green and amber, and, like, security officers. I bet you them cops were like, what the fuck is that? Right? <laughs> And a Honda Odyssey? I mean, don't get me wrong. My mother-in-law had one of them. We used to call it the tactical minivan because before you knew it, you looked down and you were going 110. You, you couldn't tell. But, I mean, I, I don't think I'd want to be bobbing and weaving and trying to do pit maneuvers. Could you imagine that shit? <laughs> well, this is him right This Odyssey. is him right here. <laughs> yeah, he. I don't think he's going to be the constable no more. <laughs> he got elected. He got elected. I have to have, like, the governor take away if that's an elected position. Wow. So he just so he didn't have to ask permission then if he was elected. <laughs> the people know. told him to get in that chase. <laughs> His little Honda Odyssey. That's the best part about the entire story is a Honda Odyssey. I was just said it is a 1985 Ford Astro van. <laughs> hey, you laugh, but last night I seen a, a high-speed pursuit where this Dodge Charger couldn't catch this Prius to save his life. He, he just kept pulling away from that Dodge Charger, and I'm like, oh, I'd be mad. I'd be real mad. Getting outrun by a Prius. <laughs> right? I'm not quite sure why he has his uh, hamburger meat all hanging out for the world to see. I have no idea. I don't know if they, they didn't rent out of shirts and give him two pants to wear. It's <laughs> very, very sleeves. strange. Maybe it's a one-size-fits-all type thing on there. Uh, yeah, and he's a smaller dude because he's only 65 inches tall. So. That was 65 feet. He's a giant. No, the hell it wasn't. That may be a hot nut. Yeah, the Honda Odyssey with the big star and and green and amber strobe lights and the words Kentucky Tucky Constable, Constable on the side. All I'm hearing is ding, 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 ding. Ding, 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 ding. I'm definitely hearing some Duke's Hazard shit. No, I'm hearing uh, <laughs> Deliverance. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh this next story here there's nothing oh, funny see, I, nothing I was nothing funny about this shit at all nothing is this was uh, you yes oh shit i got i'm off on my stories then. oops nothing funny about this story it's horrible i got a video and uh y'all man are, drive and driving the transport should have been dragged you, out of the vehicle in a handcuff. You're, you're going to get mad whenever you watch this. This tragedy people. involving dozens of dogs in northwest Indiana. These are photos from a gas station where rescuers desperately tried to save dogs who were trapped in the back of a hot truck with no air conditioning. We'll bring those to you in a moment. Now, some of those dogs died. CBS 2's Metabel Gonzalez reports the dogs were on their way back to becoming police canines. A chaotic scene at this gas station on Ripley Street in Lake Station, Indiana, as people surround this truck trying to rescue 19 German Shepherds suffering from heat stroke. Police said the dogs were being transported to a canine training facility from O'Hare Airport to Michigan City when the driver was stuck in traffic unaware that the AC unit had failed. The dog's barks are what prompted him to stop and check. 
In a statement, Lake Station Police did not make it clear how many of the dogs died, only saying that this was, quote, not an act of animal cruelty and calling it a freak event. This is truly devastating. Jenny Weber, executive director of the Humane Society of Hobart, responded to the scene. And she says protocol was not followed. I don't think any veterinarian would have signed off on the health certificate given the temperatures and exposure that those pets would have been under. No, I, I don't. Um, however, I'm not even quite sure if they had any of that paperwork or any of the documentation they should have had. Weber says four of the dogs were eventually transported to the Hobart Animal Clinic and as many as 10 of them may have died. The driver left with four and the rest were deceased and he left with the deceased animals and four alive animals that I recommended be hospitalized immediately. The condition of those dogs, she says, was dire. Vomiting, diarrhea. They were up and alert, but clearly suffering from heat stroke. Lake Station police have not yet responded to our request to address these allegations. Meanwhile, Weber says she's also waiting like for them. answers. They kind of look. They don't look like they were in very good. One of them, had, you could see his ribs. Right. That I mean, I mean I, 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 my shirt, my shepherd Malamois is like that man. I feed her all the food, and she still shows her ribs. But I. At the same aspect, now in this exact same story, I don't know if they get into it, but the police officers asked to allow them dogs to be medically transported to the facility in air conditioning so that they would be saved. The driver of the truck, I do believe I read that he flat out refused yep. to provide them with documentation or allow them to take mm. the animals. I'm sorry, but Th this was not. Was too many. Th th this is a private person who's trying to get these, trying to. We're trying to get these dogs trained to do this because a uh, uh, police canine would not would not be handler. like this. They would be tra exactly be traveling with their handler, not stacked up in these dog kennels. And this guy it should have been checking, or some kind of alarm should have went off for something to say bullshit. I think this yeah, dude, especially a closed box trailer. This I mean, dude I would, needed I would, to be charged with felonies. That many dogs died. Oh, he would have not left the scene. Not with not with the dogs. Give he me a break. Give me a break. I think he knows somebody's only reason he got to drive off. I'm just I don't know. I'm too big of a dog lover to let that slide. That's uh that that story right there pisses me off. Whoever that is shouldn't be allowed to do anything with dogs ever again. Yeah, I think they're trying to go back after him too, but Good luck. I mean, the, the window of opportunity is gone. He's yeah. there just to do the evidence. So this next one uh, is your story. If you want to give like a little brief synopsis, I well, have. I I don't know anything about this story because I thought the last one was mine. So uh, I have I have three uh, videos on it. Charges dropped against seven. Is that Oakland officers? Oklahoma. And three sec oh, Oklahoma officers and three separate shootings. We've got seven police officers who were just Mine, doing their duty. Your mind's on basically five of them we're going to be discussing. Okay. That's great. You got a video or something? Got three videos. Okay, let's go. Synopsis. Uh, just two, two and a half years ago, uh, police respond to a uh, armed robbery in process, progress and end up shooting and killing the suspect who I think was either 13 or 15 years old. So uh, they have a new DA. New DA comes in and drops all the charges. So we're going to start in on it. Three, three involving videos. involving dozens of dogs in northwest Indiana. The county is charging all five of those officers with first-degree manslaughter, and these were the officers who fired the lethal rounds that night. <laughs> Newly released body cam and surveillance video today showing the intense moments <laughs> leading to the shooting death of Stavian Rodriguez, who police say robbed a convenience store at gunpoint. What's that? There's a lot of courtesy pops there. So. I, I call them courtesy pops. In, in a tough situation like this, it doesn't matter who fires first. The, the matter is when you hear that loud, loud bang, there's like a pack mentality and everybody just goes. But not everybody's shot because there's a shit ton of cops out here. Oh, yeah. But you haven't seen this video, so I'm just going to be quiet no. and let you see 
Because they're going to show the video in a second. Of just uh, Different body cams? Because this one kind of sucks. You watch, you'll see. Before they arrived, police giving him several verbal commands before you see him climb out of the drive through window. Lifting his shirt and then putting his hands up before taking out a gun and dropping it. Get your no! no! He reaches toward his back pocket before several... Stupid shit. Oh, God. Okay. I... They really need to teach a class, maybe in middle and high school, that just says when you're in an intense situation with a bunch of people pointing guns at you, do not start grabbing in your pockets. Do not start going through your hoodie. Well, you this just pulled out time. you just pulled out a, a a pistol with an extended mag on it. Right. Now you're going back for more? And now you dig it in your back pocket. They're thinking, oh, he's going to grab another gun. Right. So they pop him. This is not a time to fix your wedgie. Yeah. Fire. Tonight, five of the six officers who shot at Stavian are charged with first-degree manslaughter. Court documents say those five, quote, all unnecessarily fired lethal rounds at Stavian, which caused his death. The sixth officer, not charged, fired a non-lethal weapon. Court documents also say Stavian yeah, didn't have any other wanted. weapons, but they did find a cell phone in his back pocket. The Fraternal Order of Police issued a statement today standing by the officers. They say, quote, all Officers must make life and death decisions in a split second, relying on their training. When an armed robbery suspect did not obey police commands, five officers perceived the same threat and simultaneously fired their weapons. Okay, hang on. And tonight, the let's let's play. What, what happened to your audio? What? You got okay. off. You're all wonky. How wonky? Can you not hear me? You just like. It's like all fuzzy. Better? No, I'm wondering if it's my something on my end or something. Test, test. It's got to be on your end. Anyway, if anybody else is experiencing my mic having issues, let me know. Um, okay, let's play devil's advocate because in the court, all you need is. You have to have ability and intent, okay, for most crimes to stick. Let's be honest. There you can presume within a reasonable doubt that he just dropped a firearm and he was going back to grab another one. I'm sorry, but in any kind of courtroom here, I, unless they're trying to railroad him, I, I don't see where it would stick. I mean, he did, in fact, have a firearm. He did, in fact, rob a Charging door. all five and of those to, officers with yeah. the first three man's yeah, guys. This next one, I agree with on whole stare. I mean, the the key he started reaching. This this is this is new now. The other one was two and a half years ago. This was just what happened. I don't really have to play this. What happened is they are all all the charges were dropped. These cops have been sitting on administrative paid leave for two two and a half years. Okay, so Jesus. now they're gonna they have to go back and do a whole whole bunch of training. And uh, they got to make up all the. In, in service training and all this stuff to come back to work if that's what they do so choose to so that's basically what happens here i don't have to play that one really uh that's what that was about they they were not fired so this is uh this this is uh of course the family side of it so we can imagine story here at 4 30 a mother says she is heartbroken after hearing the charges in her son's case will be dismissed three years ago 15 year old stavian rodriguez was shot and killed 15. by police outside a gas station in southwest okc news nine's angelicia bruton has her reaction after her oh, meeting with Oklahoma County over, right? district attorney vicky bahanna this is the mom and her attorney's reaction now gotcha Th this is none. he's on his way to church yeah Bobby, Rand Eddy tells me his client, Cameo Holland, feels like her son was killed again today. Holland says the district attorney told her this morning criminal charges will be dropped against the officers involved in the death of Stavion Rodriguez. First degree manslaughter charges will be dismissed for officers Bethany Sears, Jared Barton, Corey Adams, 
John Scuda, and Brad Pemberton. Oh, no matter what this office does or says, um, these families are forever changed. These officers were originally charged in March 2021 following the shooting death of 15-year-old Stavion Rodriguez. We spent hundreds of hours in reviewing the facts in each of these three cases. Camille Holland told her attorney she learned about the update this morning and is heartbroken. In a statement, she says, when the district attorney of Oklahoma County apologizes to your face for the justice system. I don't think she apologized to her face. I think she said, look, sorry, but they didn't break the law. Okay. Right. I, I think they that's how right. it went. I think they were acting in good faith. I yeah. Mean, the way he went for that back left, it was a little rapid. Was you supposed po- to just wait and see if he's going to pull a gun out and shoot you? Right. It, 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 we're living in a, a day and age where it's almost – you need to have the guy fire an entire magazine at you. Well, not even that. Well, remember the Detroit yeah. where they arrested the officer, where the guy like dumped his mag into the cop's car, and then the cop finally returned fire and they arrested him. Yeah. Failing you, it's clear we need changes in the law. That's what happened today. Continuing on to say, before I leave Oklahoma, laws that allow officers to kill children will be changed, and every police officer that is hired or trained by the Oklahoma City Police Department will now know my son's name. All right, let me say this here. Uh, if they want to change the law, they should change the law. Uh, charge the mom. What was your 15-year-old kid doing out at late time of the night with a, with, with a with fully a loaded mag. handgun with extended mag committing robbing a gas felony gas. robbing gas station? Let's charge your ass. Because obviously you had a breakdown in raising your children, your child. So if you want to blame somebody for your kid, this would probably be such, such an unpopular I might say, but I don't care. It's your damn fault that your kid's dead. Not the cops that shot them that were worried about saving their lives and somebody else's life. It's, it's your big, fault. You learned it from somewhere. Your fault. You should have raised your kid better. You should have paid attention to where your kid was. Why didn't you, why didn't you know you where know your kid I was? <clears throat> I miss those commercials that says, it's 10 p.m. Do you know where your kids are? Yeah. But, so, I'm heartless, call me what you want to. Don't really care. Uh, it's this woman's fault. and She's trying to put blame on the police. Put blame where blame's due. On you and your son. He decided to. He was 15 years old. He knew what the hell he was doing. Davion Rodriguez. Her attorney, Rand Eddy, says he wasn't there when Holland got this update, but they will continue to pursue a civil case. It's frustrating. And, uh, you know, the case has been on hold for two and a half years because the police officers have exercised their rights under the Fifth Amendment. You know what gets me is he sounds like it's like two and a half years. And you know what? If this would have been opposite where some this 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 dirtbag kid would have shot and killed a cop and they drug it out two and a half years, it would have been like, well, he's just exercising his his his, you know, constitutional rights. But he's gonna say it with disgust when the cops are doing it. Dirtbag attorney, it's all about the money now. That's all it is. Well, so the lawyers Dirt bag, yeah, dirt bag of time. They've been on paid leave this entire time, and um, it's um, it's really, really disappointing. In that same statement, Rodriguez's mom also said, quote, how did they feel threatened when there were 30 of them, each with multiple weapons? The answer is they didn't feel threatened. They felt entitled. The fuck? Oh, I'm sorry. Really? Um, really? The cops felt entitled. Really? Oh, I'm sorry. Like I said, yeah, I, <laughs> all, wow. all of no, this right here, no. all of this woman put blame where it blames do. It's your fault. It's this kid's fault. It's his daddy's fault. Well, where is daddy? Do you know who his daddy is? What? Because I haven't seen dad say anything. Your kid was a dirtbag ass criminal that was being raised up like that. Now you're just now now he's a paycheck to you. You want money. That's all it drowns down to. It's for this next story. It's uh end quote in the studio. Look, you see like <laughs> Kelly's like, oh my god, and she said, and Billy G's like, they felt entitled. What the fuck? Exactly. Yeah, I mean, it's just completely I'm insane. To do really good, and it's like <laughs> it's, even that made me, it, it came out. It's completely 
insane. It's asinine that she would even make that statement. Um, I actually, I actually do have a video. Oh no, 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 no! We don't have the, it don't have the picture of it, but they just tell the story. Okay, so two Texas (laughs) police officers are fired over trawling swastikas. The chief's drawing. So apparently, these boys were sitting in a training room and they were just scribbling on paper. And I guess they made some kind of um, something was probably said. They made a joke about it. World War Two Germanescent symbols. Uh, he because I don't even want to say it and have the subtitles pop up. And next thing you know, we're banned. Um, they were drawing these and then telling jokes. I, I, I they're in bad taste. Um, if you want to have really weird humor, do it with your friends at your house. Don't do it while you're wearing one of the shields that protect the entire community. Mm. And uh, they're paying the ultimate price for it. Um, they're, yeah. Yeah, here at the video. Hired two of his officers for something they did during a meeting last month. He said they drew and shared what he called a symbol of hate. Fox 4's Amelia Jones live in South Lake tonight with the story, Amelia. Steve, the South Lake police chief called the drawing, quote, an inexcusable attempt at humor. We know two officers were fired, but there's still a lot more that police aren't sharing. South Lake Police Chief James Brandon sent out a statement regarding an incident on June 14th. The statement says he was made aware that a swastika was drawn during a break in a meeting involving members of the police department and shared with others. Brandon started an internal investigation and the two officers were fired. The statement didn't name the officers or share how long they've worked for the department. Fox 4 reached out to South Lake Mayor John Huffman's office for a statement. We didn't receive a direct response. Instead, we were referred back to the statement given out by the police chief. South Lake police declined our request for an interview today. Fox 4 did file an open records request for more information about the internal investigation. A group called South Lake Together criticized the police department and the city's leadership on Twitter. The group was formed during several high-profile controversies involving Carol ISD. I want to only watch the whole thing. As these two guys, I'm pretty sure uh, they're not Nazis. They're they're not. It was a no, joke. It was a, a it was a dark, dark humor. Yeah, it's dark humor. Control. Somebody saw it. Somebody said something. They were probably just joking around with each other, or whatever. And now they're both looking for jobs. Uh, I do. hope that's not. Uh, well, look, they messed up. They really did. But in law enforcement, uh, Iceman can tell you, once you're blackballed, it, it, that's what I call it, just blackballed. You, when, you, when you're blackballed, you ain't never getting a job with a shield ever again. Um, and I, I just think that these guys' humor is, is stupid. 110%, you should never, ever even use your gross humor while at work. It's for private citizens to do while you're at home, while you're on the job. Take it serious and do it. I, 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 I know a guy. Uh, well, not. I wasn't. We wasn't like buddies, or nothing. But uh, you know, everybody kind of knows each other in the area. He was at their PD, and he made like a little noose or something to like in, in like last out a cookie or something anyway he made a noose and did something with a cookie well somebody saw it and didn't like it and he got fired because he made a little bitty noose it was messing with a cookie you gotta watch what kind of knot you tie in that yep yeah I- and billy g says stop being racist uh you cannot say black bald we can't no, you got to say I it's, thought it uh, just meant like, you know how you're playing pool and you don't hit the color you're going for and you put the black ball in the hole means you lose? No, they they changed ball. the color of the black ball. No, they didn't. Mm-hmm. Not it's, unless you're talking about the nine ball crap. They anyway. made it They made it into a, a, a rainbow ball. A rainbow ball. That don't even fucking make sense. Yeah, it's gay. <laughs> <laughs> You gonna talk about your best friend getting parole? Oh yeah, this next story here. Uh, I got a, uh, I have a, uh, I have a video and some pictures. Uh, let me switch screens here. I'll show you the pictures. Well, let's watch the video real fast, and uh, we'll do the picture. <laughs> Of his officers for something they did during a meeting last month. He said they are tougher than most. I'm not gonna play this whole video. It's like 
10 or 12 minutes long. Ain't uh, that the comedian? No. He might be. I don't know. This is an actual news story. But uh, this was happened in the 80s or 90s, okay? Uh, I think it was in the 80s. Somebody that don't look like Norm MacDonald. It does. Uh, a rookie NYPD cop was murdered sitting in his unit, okay? They're going to kind of look like I said. We're not going to watch the whole thing, but uh, they they got all the guys that did it convicted life imprisonment. Well, one of them, after doing like 34 years or something like that, I think he's 60 years old, New York decided it would be smart to uh, – they they paroled this motherfucker, okay? They, they let him out of jail. So I'm just going to watch a little bit of it, and then we'll talk about it some more. Veteran police officers are shedding tears tonight for a rookie cop executed in cold blood. Officer Edward Byrne was just 22 years old, the son of a retired police lieutenant. Uh-oh. Officer Byrne was shot early this morning as he sat in his park patrol car. He was on stakeout assignment in the South Jamaica section of Queens. That portion of the 103rd precinct is known as a drug dealing supermarket. The execution is being read as a bold message. Drug dealing supermarket. I said he was murdered sitting in his unit. They wear bulletproof vests and they patrol the area. Other police go door to door. This is a long time ago. Nuh-uh. Yeah. They're so, still using those cars today. No. So basically, that's what happened. The witness was the person we were protecting. And not he was protecting a witness for, uh, I was going to testify against these drug dealers. And they ended oh, okay. Up, so they ambushed him. Yes, they killed him. Uh, this was him right here. Young man, 22 years old. Life's just snuffed out at 22 years old. And all he wanted to do is make a difference. This motherfucking piece of shit right here. Who's part of the, they were part of the murder. Is that Urkel? No. Part of the, the hell give him the Medea glasses? Part of the murder. He's one of them, you know, I think he was the getaway driver or something. It don't matter. He was involved with it. They, they paroled him. After after 34 years. 34 years, does that equal life? No. He's still alive. Does this young man have his life? No. Does your young man have a chance to get married, have children, raise his kids, have grandchildren? No. He don't have nothing. So why should this why should this piece of shit have the right to get out at 60 years old and at least have some of his life to live out there? I hope he gets there since he's out on the street. I hope he gets out and thinks he's still a little thug or something like that. And, and, and you know... He's, That's the round of finds and, and out. Karma, and Karma's going to come out back at him, and, and you know he'll catch one. If he's still living, in, if he's still living in New York, I doubt it. So anyway, the, the, these parole boards happened here in Louisiana recently. They let a freaking convicted murderer out. That's supposed to be doing life out. Uh, Duke, hey, you, I don't want to hear it. y'all lock people away for smoking Duke, weed. Duke right? has on. Uh, dudes are doing a life sentence. Duke has something to uh, say about this one, what he thinks about this story, what he thinks about this man right here. Uh, that <laughs> so gonna slide him a Biden. Duke Duke's saying he wants to shit on this piece of shit's head right here. So uh, yeah, I feel sorry for the, this man's fam- this man's family, who you know they they hadn't got the any time with him. But this piece of shit over here is going to be able to get out and live his life. You call that justice? No, I don't call it justice. It's crap is what it is. I don't understand when we... It, whatever happened to the damn death penalty? New York, really? No, not New York. New but York I mean, ain't going to have general, no damn hear, death penalty. You don't hear about it anymore. It's like, you know, hey, you're supposed to go to prison for life. Wait a minute, five years later. All right, let him out. Kelly said she she would join Duke. You're just nasty. <laughs> that's a whole different level of camp, yeah. Kelly. That's the, but anyway, it's New York. It don't surprise me. But I mean, really, no. I I I hope he gets. I hope Karma finds him. I hope Karma finds him. Uh, this next one is. Uh, yeah, it's mine. So, basically, this next story, I don't even think we need to show a video or anything. It's this crooked-ass politician, uh, Senate President Jason Ellsworth, 
uh, he got pulled over back in 2021 in like the middle of the night, like 2.30 a.m. I got the and video, it, and I, I, I want to play it because it shows what kind of arrogant ass the son of a bitch is because he's a politician. Right. He, tries to tell, he tries to tell her, hey, you're interfering with my work. I'm on my way to a session. She's like, at this hour, there ain't nobody having no session. Oh, he's trying to be like, I just called an attorney general. She she held it together good and was professional. She did a very good job. Yes, she did. Her supervisor immediately. That was a good job. But I, 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 I just want to do it because for the most veteran police officers, this uh, video is from uh, tonight for off a of rumble. <laughs> this video is off a of rumble from this is butter. If you like to see some uh, police videos, they used to be on YouTube, but I think they got booted or something. But go to rumble. It, this is butter and they got all kind of body cam. <laughs> Hey, there's no reason for you to get out of your car. Okay, you need to go back to your car. And I'm not talking to you. You need to go back to your car. You need to release me? I'm not arresting you, so this is... He said, you need to release me. So he's like, oh, I'm, I'm a politician. Not, you know, you need to do See, that, this. See, that's when I would have got a grin and been like, no. So, but we're she had, we're she, about to do a full she, search of the she, vehicle. She handled it great. After she told him about three times, it's been hilarious. He just tased his ass and he was re- resisting right. at that point. I mean, but, I, I tell but you these right politicians, now, ain't no different. These politicians, I'm going to tell you what. I haven't, I pulled over some, uh, some, you know, some of these high polluting politicians on the interstate stuff because we have laws like that also that when, uh, you know, they're in session, basically we're not allowed to, you know, and they drive like idiots. And I pulled one over one time, but. They didn't. They didn't act all pompous and shit like that. But they, they do. They will just haul ass because they know we know. Basically, we can't give them no tickets or nothing because they're in session while they're doing that. And I think it's bullshit. Uh, everybody, people want to say cops, you know, do this and that. <laughs> Y'all don't have no freaking clue. You, you start looking at your <laughs> congressmen, your representatives, and all of that stuff. All your you, elected officials. You, you want to see some self entitled narcissistic people. <laughs> But anyway, that's that. She handled it great. She did write him a warning ticket and uh, oh, sent him no. sent him about his his business. But uh, you know, he tried to keep this video from being released, and his judge says no because guess what? It don't make. And this dude's a Republican. I don't give a shit. He's a he thinks his shit don't stink. And uh, so uh, the judge said, "Oh no, this is being released because it, it shows what kind of a dickhead he is." So uh, screw that dude. If I were, if I lived in that area, I wouldn't vote for him ever again because of the way he acted right yeah. there. He's another hot nut, possibly. Oh my God! This one, is this mine? Yeah. So this is a okay. We're gonna have a whole story time with whole story because I, I got, I got, I got video too. I'm gonna slap you. Why? How come whenever I actually enjoy something, you're like, here's a video. No, go ahead. But I just I got a video for the picture of it and stuff. All right. Now, we've all seen a little Google car drive through the neighborhood, right? With a little ball on top with all the cameras and all this stuff. All right. Now, imagine this. Google car passes you doing well over 100 miles an hour. Well, he did that to a police chief. And a police chief pulled out on him. And, well, we say pull up, but you pull out behind somebody and then try to initiate a traffic stop. The individual stated that they were afraid to stop because they would be hurt. So they ran in the Google car. <laughs> they ran over 100 miles an hour through a bunch of places. Eventually, the car tried to turn onto the bridge. The bridge was out. They overcorrected, ended up in a field. And then on the other side of the field was a pond. They landed in the pond. Um, and then the police report states that he was assisted out of the vehicle <laughs> placed in the handcuffs. I know what that means. Uh, that means he got a good Google photo of the arrest. Um, go ahead and view that spicy they, Google. They are, I'll say this. I, I was working on the interstate one time. Uh, I don't think I was right. Was I writing a ticket or, or I think I was maybe doing a crash or something. I don't remember. But the Google car come by and they're always taking pictures. So as it came by, 
I like did this. <laughs> it drove by. <laughs> so most likely somewhere is on a road view. You know, when you go to, to roadside yeah. view, you somewhere's on the interstate <laughs> where I work at a good chance. If you could find I wish I remember which mile marker it was at in uh Fucking dog just opened the door and walked out of here. <laughs> it's like my door just I'm opened. Proud of your nonsense. And, but there's going to be a picture of me while we're going outside the road. <laughs> I was going. So, yeah. Was, that would be a postcard. I mean, every time I see him, I try to make a face or something because you know it's good. Yeah, there was a TikTok video, I guess. They were coming through the neighborhood. So the guy made his neighbor lay on the ground and he grabbed his shovel and acted like he was trying to bury him in the front yard. And then they actually pulled it up on Google Maps in the neighborhood. <laughs> Street View driver is under arrest tonight, accused of driving over 100 miles per hour and leading police on a chase through two central Indiana counties. Middletown police released this picture of the Google Street View car after it went <laughs> off the road and into a creek. <laughs> he got fired. The only job they have is to obey traffic laws and take pictures. Is drive around. I, I, yeah, drive around. Nobody said drive like an asshole. I, the, you can't get very many good pictures. Maybe that's why there's sometimes blurry images on 100 on miles an hour. Monday. Officers say they clocked the driver going over 100 miles per hour in front of Shenandoah High School. Police say he refused to pull over and drove into Madison County. <clears throat> he then lost control of the car and went into a creek when he tried to turn because of a bridge that was out in Pendleton. Well, police arrested him for resisting law enforcement with the vehicle. Officers say he told them that he worked for Google and was afraid to stop. Google Street View driver is under arrest. Google's got really, really stringent on their uh, break time stuff. If you get pulled over, you fucking run. <laughs> That's a hot nut one, too. <clears throat> this next one. This next one is uh, not a funny story. This woman decided to run from the police when she had her child child in the vehicle. And uh she takes a curve really fast in the I think it's eight year old eight year old child, little girl, I guess was standing up in the front seat or something. So because when she took the turn so fast, the girl flew out the passenger side window. I had this passenger side of my truck one time but I had the ratchet strap that would do that. And uh landed outside of the car. Every time. Pull girl, I'm sure was injured slightly. Uh, she but fine? I mean, I mean, I'm sure she had to go to the doctor. Uh, let's see, video number ten. Where did I put it? That's not uh, number ten. Amanda Shaw is facing several serious charges tonight after leading Arnold police on a high speed chase that ended with an eight year old falling out of the passenger side window. I want to warn oh. y'all. I'm gonna warn y'all. Let me go to the correct uh, screen. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna warn y'all now. They uh, there's some audio in this of this little girl. It don't show when she gets chunked out, but uh, you can hear her when she uh, comes out. Amanda okay? Shaw is facing several serious charges tonight. Oh. A sharp, high-speed left turn on Dunn Alley caught on camera early Saturday morning. Arnold police following close behind. Then I saw the cops come up, and it just, it was, it was. I think this guy's related to the whole stereo, y'all. I mean, who would just have random, no, who would no, have random. to Jeffrey Dahmer. You see them damn glasses? Who would have. Them ain't been around since he, he ate people. Who would have random cameras just mounted in the alley at their house? Me. Yeah, exactly. Got 36 of them. Exactly. I don't miss a thing. Something you don't normally see around here. Don Miola queued up his surveillance footage from Dunn Alley to see what his camera captured and heard this. <laughs> Arnold police say an eight year old girl fell from the passenger side window when that SUV made a sharp left. It's unclear at this point if she was injured. <laughs> I couldn't even believe uh, it. You can hear that. It sounded like a yeah. kid. Yeah, it you sounded, can hear. It sounded like a kid. 
Police stopped to care for the child before stopping the suspect at gunpoint, attempting to run from police. Amanda Shaw was allegedly trying to get another person to blow into. So this woman right here obviously has uh, previous previous DWIs because she had the uh, the blower, the, the interlocking car. device in her vehicle where you have to blow in it to unlock your ignition when you can start it because she's. Uh, no driver's license, driving her suspension, and she was trying to get a sober person to blow into it because she wants to drive drunk again. Uh, piece only, of, only piece of piece shit. shit. Total piece uh, of only shit. Only a real piece of shit would actually blow into a drunk driver's drunk it, while they're drunk so that they can get home. Yeah, yeah, it, with the child in the car. Yeah, because you want them to die, apparently, because uh, they got a kid in the car. No, yeah. no, no, no. For ignition interlock device commonly used to prevent DUI offenders from driving drunk. Police say when they made contact with her, she took off, leading police on a chase from Leishman Avenue to Dre Street before making that sharp turn on Dunn Alley. It was all like a blur because uh, I just I checked it. I checked it, the surveillance tape and I couldn't even believe it. But when I saw the cops flying behind and uh, I knew they got him. That's, <laughs> I knew they got that person. And again, it's unclear if the child I'd was hurt and how serious like her injuries might have been. But we're working to learn more about how she... Well, thank God that didn't happen. But, I mean, you could hear. I mean, but in a high-speed in a high speed pursuit, especially in the middle of the night, in the middle of nowhere, it would be very easy for one of them officers to accidentally... Oh, yeah. Look, nobody ever trained me for flying toddlers, okay? But if you listen when it, the child first came out, the scream... Were captured right. and Listen. heard this. You heard that? You know yeah. what's bad about it? The they had to get conti- they had to continue to chase this woman. Her kid flew out of the car and she didn't stop. Well, hopefully they place that baby with a family that'll love her for the rest of her life and never back with that monster. <laughs> she said, "Yeah, you're right, Billy. If, if something would happen to that kid, the cops would have got blamed for it. Right. Got blamed for everything." Uh. This next one here, uh, you you wanna you wanna read it? <laughs> I actually I, fi- I found video for this also. Believe no, 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 no. We're not gonna <laughs> give this guy any damn airtime. So this 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 POS that lives out in California has been making nonstop y'all nonstop seven thousand prank calls to the California Sheriff's Department agencies. 7,000. Some of them said that they were offensive, derogative. The man had a life of doing nothing but calling 911 and pissing them off. They said he would okay? call like sometimes 60 times an hour. Yeah, and completely bogged down the 911. <clears throat> but he wasn't system. dialing that. No, he, no, they said they said he wasn't dialing 911. He was calling uh, uh inner office line to dispatch, <laughs> like the non-emergency line. Well, and a violation of nine one one. Guess what? Guess what? You gonna what? guess? I got some of his calls. Go ahead. Well, you don't want you don't want me to play it. Go ahead. I know. I know. We got him from somewhere else. I'm sure. What? What are you talking about? I would never no. do that. Let's listen to the calls. Hello, police. Yes, I just wanted to call and report that Ronald McDonald is at the Burger King and he put Big Mac sauce on all the Whoppers. Help. Oh, I don't even know how that would taste. Big Mac <laughs> sauce on a Whopper? Yeah, I mean. You know, I'm still mad they took away the McRib. I haven't been back to McDonald's since. <laughs> See? I mean, hell. And- Sheriff's Office Dispatch, how may I help you? Yes, listen. Please, please, please. There are little people in my cereal bowl. I ate some, so am I a cereal killer now? <laughs> I have a weird feeling. Sheriff's Office like Dispatch, that. how may I help you? Hey, I need help. I pooped and I am all out of toilet paper. Please send help. <laughs> that, that's, that's the prank call. The ones that I was able to get. <laughs> you, you, you know those were real, though? right? Precious would have hung up on him. That's yeah, right. She's yeah. a real dispatcher. Right. <laughs> Melissa said, oh, boy. <laughs> Did you ever get a chance to read that one I sent you about the Brandon woman? No. Okay, forget it. The you Iceman could, uh, is the sweet dig daddy with the candy balls. Nope, that's copyrighted. It's all stairs. <laughs> no, nah, no, no. Uh, you can talk about it if you want. I was busy. 
Yeah, so let me... There has been this trend in in media lately. We just had that Mississippi girl that slept with the animals and stuff like that. I don't know what's going on in the world that's causing this to become more commonplace, but it is disgusting. But it's a branded woman right down the road from here, uh, from where I am here in Florida. A branded woman is facing more than 100 counts of child pornography and bestiality charges. Deputies arrested uh, Miss Ramiro, which is 18 years old, on July. She's 18 on July 27, 23, at her home on the night. Either way, uh, HCSO's uh, predator unit. So he, here's the charges: 100 counts to film, distribute, or possess an image or video of sexual activity with an animal. That's 100 counts of that. 49 counts. To engage in sexual contact with an animal. Two counts of possession of child pornography. And one count of unlawful use of a two-way communication device. Uh, what the hell? I mean, she's a... Why is there a dog pooping in my mouth? <laughs> but here, let me turn this around. Uh, Good. I'll be there. I just get out myself. Can y'all see this little girl? That's the 18-year-old that got arrested for all that. I, what is it? It's not social media because I'm all over social media. And the I don't, other I don't one usually see donkey shows. The one in Mississippi, she was like 18 or 19 years she old actually, too. Yeah, but she was in love with her dog, right? Yeah. And I just seen I just seen some freaking TikTok of a girl the other day that was asked what the only time she ever would cheat on her boyfriend and she's like well i cheated on him with his dog and i'm like what the fuck well the one the one in mississippi she's already out remember i found those uh freaking right uh, naked pictures you, you of her from uh you, off of uh instagram or snapchat yeah. or something. and then you had the guy that was chasing around the dogs yeah we had the guy the, in baton rouge that was that broke into the backyard the dog and tried to rape the german shepherds right what the f- look I understand that there's some really weird shit going on right now. But I'm thinking, how did you get to that conclusion? I have no idea. I mean, I've how, seen how some. you wake up in the morning I mean, and look at your German Shepherd and go, damn, that's a sexy dog. Yeah. That's just, what? I mean, what? I've seen some I've seen some cute poodles and stuff, but I've never looked at them in that, that way before or nothing like that. I, uh, it's like, damn. I just don't get it. I sure would like to stick my genital inside that dog. I bet you that feel good. Uh, but in a a time and age where a girl can show pictures of her feet and buy a mansion i guess anything well what about people them they they buy and use panties from them and shit i mean just why right some sick people out there sick sick there is apparently they need jesus anyway uh (laughs) i think hot nuts is gonna uh, we got it. Well, not, hold on. Not, y'all not start. Y'all start thinking about hot nuts. We got on because I was giving a t-shirt away. We got to go over those things real fast to who we're gonna vote hey, for for the that t-shirt. Dog biting that woman in the boob. That was the one. Whoever makes the funniest one, I got to look at it. They win a free t-shirt tonight. Oh, she's got one of them colander titties now because she's got <laughs> holes all over the place. I'm That's saying a hot nut is uh, the constable. The constable that uh, yeah. The, the, he, they the got Honda well. I'm telling everybody they got the constable and his Honda in a police chase. We have uh, the two Texas officers that decided to be funny to do stupid stuff and get themselves fired, and uh, we got the uh, the smart ass politician. That's the three of them: constable, politician, and. Uh, do you remember Officer Dewey from? Uh what the hell was the name of that movie? Scary movie? Or Alex says he makes a lot of cash selling your dirty panties. Got to wear them first, Alex. Anyway, the uh, four or something in water in the water hole stereo. I guess I, I don't know what the hell's wrong with the world, but I go out for the the first one. You want the, the uh, Kentucky guy, Officer Dewey? I'm gonna I'm gonna get the reference and I'll share it to the page. Y'all, y'all, the guy who used the shop back and y'all vote so we can uh, do the hot nuts and I'm about to read. I apologize we're going long, but I guess y'all are still here, so you must be enjoying it. Uh 
anyway, it was a picture of, if you can go on Facebook, it's the picture. They have a dog uh, biting woman's boot. And uh, so anyway, we're going to, funniest comment wins a free t-shirt. So um, let's start reading them. You can't win a t-shirt now. We have, uh, y'all listen up. So we got another one for the constable. Uh, we got a, we got somebody that says, uh, mom, your squeaky toy isn't working. Uh, somebody else said, uh, and if y'all hear one you think's funny, let me know. Billy said he wants the Illinois one. We got, he's just a puppy that misses his mommy. Uh, somebody else says, Mom, is that you? Hey, where's the cream filling? Whole different mo- meaning to motorboating this time. I got to stop hiding my weed in my bra. I, I do like that one. <laughs> uh, this isn't chicken nuggets. Uh, wait, no titty milk? When rough, when rough play gets a bit too literal during canine training, uh, there's usually a squeaky toy in these things. You know, if not for nothing, every time I helped out the canine division, I was always afraid that that would happen, and I was always assured it's never happened before. Now that I see that photo, I know that they were completely <laughs> full of shit. This says no. In I'm this. not. <laughs> I'm not cheating on you. A dog bit my titty. He knows what he wants. Women say, hey, mister, your dog ain't shit. Dog handler yells in German, gizmo bis in de burst. I guess that means bite him in a titty or something. I don't know in German. Uh, F the damn wing, give me the breast. Rule number 34. <laughs> I'm glad I don't get it. So. Uh, it, so it goes thinking? years back in a, uh, a Reddit feed that uh, basically says that anything on this planet could be turned into porn. Uh, yeah. This is against the state penal code. He's the breast in the business. Uh, just a bit outside. Tried to bite the sleeve and missed. Got milk. No, the dog doesn't bite. The dog. Uh, and at this moment, Tammy knew she fucked up and suddenly remembered the instructions she had been given. Hold the arm straight. She's a trucker. Get her. <laughs> that one. <laughs> free bird. Yeah. <laughs> Don't count with that free bird. Yeah. Uh, uh, I found the drugs. I'm so tired of playing this tit for tat shit. Titties. It was at this moment she knew she fucked up. I think she's packing. Time to take a bite out of crime. So any of those tickle jaws fancy? We no. Had the most likes. Just waiting. Nothing. None. Do, 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 so what did you think? Which one had the most likes? None of them. Nobody, nobody went and voted on any of them. So I guess it's just up to me and you or me. Uh, well, I mean, I, I, what was it? There was a funny ass one on there, and you said it at the beginning. Higher up on it. Uh, I mom, your comment on them you, I, Mom, I'm your squeaky to toy isn't working. A puppy that misses his mommy. Mom, is that you? Hey, where's the cream filling? There you go. Uh, the, my vote's for where's the cream filling. That was a funny answer. We got on. Uh, gives a different meaning to motorboating. <laughs> I got to stop hiding my weed in my bra. This isn't a chicken nugget. No titty milk. There's usually a squeaky toy in these. I'm not cheating on you. A dog bit my titty. Fuck the damn wings. Give me the breast. 34. That's against the state code. He's the breast in the business. 
No, the dog doesn't bite. We got on uh, this moment. Tammy knew she fucked up. So we remembered the instructions. I found the drugs. I'm so tired of playing this tit for tat shit. I think that was pretty good myself. Tit for tat. Tit for tat. I'm going for the tit for tat. Oh, now there's two for cream filling. Yep, we do have two for the cream filling. So, looks like a uh, Kentucky guy, one hot nuts, Mr. Constable, oh, yeah, man. Yeah. Hot nuts! You're a stupid dumbass. You dumb motherfucker! Those dumbass motherfuckers. That's him. I still don't understand. You like, dumb motherfucker! That looks like a waste. You're a stupid What, of chest hair? Like, no, the, you see the, the stuff that goes up and around, like the collar? The it dumbass looks like a waistline material. <laughs> Melissa is. Just you're a stupid dumbass. Maybe he just put a big pair of. I don't. I don't know. Only thing I can see is they just made it for just the one size fits all. I guess. That that's the only thing I can figure on that. This <laughs> is like stretchy. And uh, let's see who got the cream filling. Oh, uh, the officer. The remember the dog that got shot by the other officers. I think so. That is uh, Pun Santiago. You have uh, won the uh, free T-shirt. Let me send him a message. You won the T-shirt. Send me your address and size. And it is a message sent. All right, Mr. Pun Santiago, you won. Uh, I try to do two a month. Uh, so, because. Why don't you start sending out whole stereo shirts, they sell better. I send out uh I send out uh midweek news crew shirts. Oh, I don't even have one of them. And they're they're printed front and back, so they end up costing I mean I mean I'll be honest, I ain't bitching. I enjoy giving T shirts out because I like to see what people say, but it costs me like thirty four bucks, thirty bucks every time I mail out a free T shirt. You'd so, be all right. So but I enjoy doing it. I'm glad everybody come and hung out with us considering, you know, we're over an hour and a half tonight. Also, if, every one of you. if y'all Thank haven't, you. if you haven't checked out the episode I put out Monday, it was only 30 minutes. It was great. I got to interview uh, Randy Sutton. Uh, this dude's been, what? he's been in movies. On Yellowstone? No, he's been on movies. He's been, oh, he's he was in three, three seasons of Cops. Uh, dude's been in shootings. He's getting ready to have his fifth book come out. Uh, he's, uh. The CEO and co-founder of the Wounded Blue that helps out uh, cops that have gotten hurt in the line of duty and stuff. He had to go because of a uh, conference call he had. So only got 30 minutes. It was great. Uh, I appreciate it. So if you don't get a chance, go listen to that. And uh, other than that, I said, no guarantees. I got a shit ton of uh, Louisiana crime stories because I ain't done none in a while. Uh, I need to try to do some this weekend or something. Other than that... Everybody be safe. Watch your back. Watch your partner's back. Remember, we are not sheepdogs. We are lions. (laughs) (laughs) And remember to smile because Iceman could always be behind you. Because I don't give a fuck what you say. Yeah, I'm going to do shit my way. So you can go kick rocks, I'ma stack bricks up, build what I want to make. Yo, I 